You can't react to shit. I say, how is that when I bought nothing but a full chain with those Jay Black Jazz the Rapper reaction? If you survive, I'll recap him like Jay Black. He like her Jay Black. What's going on? It's your boy Jay Black, aka Black Man. Today, motherfucker. Today, yes, I'm gonna try to review three battles in one. You know, the dropping battles left and right, here and there, over there. I'm gonna grab all of them, put them all in this one video. Hopefully, you know what I mean? Because there's a lot of things I want to address. And towards the end of the video, I want to address another thing, you know, recent events. Um, the recent the recent deaths, you know what I mean? That, that just got me a little tight, you know what I mean? That I feel that I have to address at this point. But uh, first and foremost, <clears throat> I want to touch on Charlie Clips versus Young Cannon. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Disaster versus DNA, part two, if you didn't know. If you're not paying attention to all the social media, the BattleRap.coms, you know what I mean? If you, if you didn't buy the pay-per-view for King of the Dot, I'm going to get into detail about, not too much into detail because they didn't drop it. I don't want to spoil it for you guys. So I'm just going to give you like a, a winner and why I give that winner quickly as possible. In case Shine versus Kaboom, I definitely want to touch on that because I see an improvement on Kaboom's side. So I want to give credit where credit is due. And if I don't get to that last battle, I'll put it in the next video. You know what I mean? I'm trying to do two for ones now because it's a lot of battles happen. It's a lot of things that I have to do. You know, what I mean, my daylight versus John John Don Wayne is coming. You know, what I mean, it's just got to got to got to catch stuff at certain times now. So we have Charlie Clips versus Young Cannon. For the most part, Gorilla Warfare. For the most part, this was a good one rounder. You know, what I mean, this was a very good one rounder. Um. <clears throat> I think Young Cannon went for about, if I'm not mistaken, between seven, eight to ten minutes, and Clips went to like five to six, if I'm not mistaken. You know what I mean? If you haven't checked it out already, please check it out. It's about 15 minutes of your time. 15, it's a very quick battle. Um, <clears throat> I watched this battle, I think, three times, if I'm not mistaken. Three times. The first watch, I already had my winner. But the second watch and the third watch, I'm trying to figure out and I could be reaching right now, I could be overanalyzing shit right now, but I'm like, why isn't Young Cannon shit not that effective? I'm looking at his lines and what he's saying, he's like, yo, that shit is, that shit is good. You know what I mean? The fucking Pepsi, two cans pop different. The tip, little flip, tidbit, whatever. Dope. The Prince cover, dope. You know what I mean? And the angles. He attacked clips how I prefer people to attack clips, you know what I mean? He, he, he took risks, he took gambles, he did a lot. He didn't just do bars, you know what I mean? This is what I preach, so I thank him for that. I thank him for that. The WCW, WWE, top tier, lower to mid tier, shit like that, was a, was a dope approach. I mean, for the most part, I think it wasn't that effective because I don't think... I feel like the, the, the top tier don't... um. They don't use antics. They don't use really antics, you know what I mean? Who really does that? Even the guess what's room I'm in flip. Going into the motivation clips to get back on his shit tidbit. Um, Young Cannon had a lot of variety within this one round. You know what I mean? He definitely took a lot of approaches, like I said. But what got me, what, what made me feel like took away from his performance, his presence. Again, I could be over, I could be reaching. I could be overanalyzing. But um, to me, this is what got me. Throughout the entirety of his round. Throughout the entirety of his round. This is all I got. He did not make eye contact with Clips the entirety of the round. Even if he did, it was like it was a quick second. Up. That says a lot. And I preached this a couple of videos ago. You know what I mean? Believability. If you're going to shoot that man... If you gonna see, look him in his eye when you do it. Look him in the eye when you do it. When you go back and watch that now, tell me if I'm lying. What clips do? It's on clips. Within the first five seconds. Within the first five seconds. Young Cannon, how you doing? Let me talk to you for a second. My name is Charlie Clips Roboto. Nigga, what's up? He's in your face. He's in your grill. He's giving it up. 
right away. That's the difference between a mid-tier and a top tier. Right there. Throughout the middle of Clips' round, this is when he heats up and I'm like, oh, oh shit. Oh, the f oh, Clips, stop. Oh, shit. Clips wins, clearly. The dial-up. The birthday cake. Couple leaves. Y'all about to get me started. Oh, here we go. This is what I'm talking about. The atmosphere changing. Now look at me like I'm crazy. You know what I mean? Like, oh my gosh, what the fuck is Jay Black talking about? This is what Rob Mitty may have to deal with. Um, if, a mo if Clips is motivated, that's a different battle. That's the same. It, it, can Rob Nitty beat the, the, the Clips that beat Rex? If he doesn't show up, of course, if he's not motivated, if he doesn't prepare like how he did this battle. And this was for free. This was for free. Free. He battled Young Cannon for free. Again, we know Clips doesn't be, Clips is not 100% every battle. We know that at this point. We know that. That's the problem that most of the fans have with Charlie Clips. But when he is prepared, if that clip shows up, Rum Nitty is going to have a full plate on his hands, man. When he start landing them haymakers, them back-to-back -back haymakers, what's going to happen? And if he does it in the first round, and he sucks the crowd dry from Rum Nitty, come on, man. I, I don't care who wins. I don't care who wins. May the best man wins, but I'm just letting y'all know if this happens. That's it. That's a possibility. And Young Cannon, you fell for the handshake. Come on, bro. Can't believe Clips got you with that, man. Anywho, I gave the battle. I think it was clear to everyone, even me. You know what I mean? Towards the end or the middle portion of Clips' round that he got the battle. Even though it was one round or so. Let's get into the next one. Disaster versus DNA. Part 2. First and foremost, I love using that word or that phrase. I love the way that King of the Dot advertised this battle. Obviously, it's not going to live up to the hype of DNA versus Disaster Part 1 because that was one of the best battles in battle rap history. That was like the top viewed, if not top three most viewed battles on King of the Dot, hosted by Drake, all that shit. Epic back and forth. First round by Disaster was crazy. Rebuttals by DNA, crazy. Rounds by DNA, crazy. Highly debated, highly debated battle. I would get in trouble if I said disaster one. I would get in trouble if I said DNA one. Ah. I'm gonna touch on that battle at some point in time. Probably this month or next month. Crazy fucking battle. But um in this battle, disaster did not know that he was battling DNA, but DNA knew that he was battling disaster. And again, it's a one rounder. Um Let me go through as quickly as possible, because like I think somebody told me on Twitter I'll be ruining shit. Again, I apologize for the Uncharted 4. My bad. My bad, bro. I didn't even know y'all play that shit. I didn't even know y'all was like me. Shake my hand. I ain't always wanting to like. I know y'all fuck with the same shit I fuck with. My bad. Damn. But I didn't fuck it up for y'all. Real shit. I didn't fuck it. Y'all can keep playing it. Trust me. A lot of things happen. A lot of twists and turns. So keep playing and enjoy the game. Like I said, um, I'm going to give my, my analysis on this very quickly. Um, DNA had a very good round. Disaster had a really good round, but the difference for me, again, Disaster freestyled 85% of his stuff, 85% of his material. Coming at DNA, impersonating DNA, doing a lot of things to DNA. Pause. Pause, bro. Come on. Get your mind out the gutter. And I mean, I think that was the difference. You know what I mean? This battle should have been three rounds, but you know, if I had to pick a winner from a one round battle, I would give it to Disaster because of that fact. That was crazy. That shows a different level of talent. You know what I mean? I think DNA could have did the same thing. So DNA was at an advantage and disadvantage. You'll see when you see the battle. I don't know when it's going to drop. Hopefully soon at some point. It is a one round, so you can just give us a treat real fast. You know what I mean? And he went extra long freestyling the entire thing so it's not just oh tubing around no disaster was going in they had to stop disaster
it was a good one around there, man. Like, it was a really good one around there. So, the last thing I'm going to talk about, I don't think I have enough time for uh, Kaboom versus K-Shine, so I'm going to put that in the next video. Um, <clears throat> the recent deaths, the recent events, I'm going to cut straight to the chase for y'all. My priority right here is safety. Don't let Twitter, Facebook, Instagram gas y'all into reacting a certain way to the cops that's not just. Don't let that happen. Safety first. You know what I mean? Um, justice will be served. I believe in karma 100%. What goes around is going to come back around. They will get their, They will get theirs at some point in time. Trust me. But for you, for you watching, for you that want to, oh, go crazy on the cops. Ah, fuck you, nigga. Fuck you, motherfucker. What the fuck you doing again? I saw what happened, blah, blah, blah. You feel some type of way for the cops. Keep that inside. Because you can end up like him. You could end up exactly like him. And you won't hurt. You won't hurt. Death is quick and easy. But the people around you is going to hurt forever. You see his son crying? That's forever. He's going to be 35 thinking about this day. That day. You know what I mean? So if you feel, you want to feel the need to be gangster at that moment, say, fuck the cops. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. And for the cops, that's going to be weak and pathetic and stupid. Y'all going to spawn a crazy black man. Trust me. Or a crazy, retarded black man that's just going around just going to kill cops. Y'all going to spawn that guy. Because we, as people, it's nothing we can do. Let's be real. What can we really do? This has been happening for a long period of time. Every six months, you hear something new in the news. This guy died because of this reason. He wasn't, he, didn't, he was selling CDs. He had cigarettes. He had candy in Arizona. Iced tea. And I can't breathe. Stop. Don't shoot. Hands up. Don't shoot. Every six months, something new. What I want y'all to do is don't be fake about it. If you real, if you really feel passionate about this, don't let this go. Don't if they if they sign Dwayne Wade to the Cavs somehow. I know he's going to Chicago. I know he's going to Chicago. somehow some shit happens. Oh, Dwayne Wade to the Cavs. Then it's oh that's now the back burner. We forgot about that. It's Dwayne Wade now. Or if Kevin Durant somehow I know he's going to Golden State, but if he somehow stays with OKC and fucks over you know uh, Golden State, oh that's all we care about now. Oh, fuck the shootings. Stay on top of it. Be real about it. You know what I mean? Support this throughout the entirety of the year. Throughout the entirety of the next year. Keep this, keep this, keep this alive, man. That's all I have. Be safe, man. Be fucking safe. Yo, shoot a nigga in due time if it's a street pistol, but you could probably get away with it if it's police issue. Being black makes you a target regardless if you got heat with you, because nowadays all you need is cigarettes and CDs with you. Rest in peace to Eric and Alton. Two of all, man. Can't forget Bell, Brown, Rice, Gray, or Martin. This shit's retarded. That's how they plan on chasing us out. See what they did to Sandra? Left a bland taste in my mouth. It got me ready to call 911. And when the cops come, it won't be no emergency. Just me holding a shotgun. I'll even pop one off first and I will not run. So if I go out like Blizzard and Juice, it's because I got some. But better yet, got to find a way to infiltrate to make a change. Because if you really want to beat the system, you got to play the game and raise our kids to be lawyers and prosecutors to get justice for the victims for once and not the shooters. <laughs> oh, now we be surfing off of them 30s. Look loud, packing that backwood. We surfing off of them 30s. Look